What's up guys, Magical Libra here today and I have got Dark Magician explained. Uh, to put it shortly, uh, we are going to be explaining, uh, yes, the Dark Magician deck itself and uh, why we play the cards, but we're going to do it in a sort of short fashion instead of a long one hour video. So here we go. Um, so without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and just get the Dark Magician stuff right out the way. Uh, the Starving Venom, you saw that. That's the side deck. We are also going into side deck options at the end. All right. So for starting off with the main Dark Magician lineup, um, I did make some changes to my deck uh, since I posted the uh, deck profile. So it's only a few changes. I think two or three cards. It's not that big of a difference, but to me it is. So you've got your two Dark Magicians. Um, well, Girl and Dark Magician. You've got the two Apprentices. Pretty standard. Uh, you've got the three souls to send them off. You got the three rods to search. The one illusion of chaos because uh, in this video I just put him in there because he's that one random dark magician card that I don't search uh, generally unless I top deck it with the three soul servants. Then you've got uh, the one secrets of dark magic, the one circle, the one salvation, and the two eternal souls. And all of this is to help further into dark magician plays and uh to make the one extra deck card that i added in which is beatrice lady of the eternal because we can easily make two level sixes onto the board um probably turn two or three um that way we can just do beatrice uh effect send uh either one of two cards from our deck which is going to be magician's rod to help set up for later if we don't have a rod or to send um the soul servant to help us draw into more cards because there are a lot of times for me i don't have a soul servant in the grave and i need one because i have two so we'll make uh two level six detach the dark magician girl so we'll have it back in the grave then send the soul servant activate soul servant draw two all right so that's going to be most of the main deck uh options for the dark magician now we're going to go into our packages so of course we're going to go into the dragoon package so uh, I did make uh, this change. I am playing with two Red Eyes Fusions, so uh, I, yeah, Loza is probably screaming, yeah, I told you, I told you, I'm like, yeah, I know, you told me, but yeah, it is actually better to play it at two, in my opinion, I'm still testing it out, um, but we're playing the two Red Eyes Fusions, and it is working out pretty well. Uh, I don't ever hard play it. It's literally there because I can either discard it or I can send it with Predator Plant if I have one in hand. So it's just there for that purpose only. I only ever hard play it ever if I'm Bubba Brick and I just go for it hoping my opponent doesn't negate it. Because why on earth would I ever hard play it unless it's late in the game and I know my opponent doesn't have cards. All right. Uh, also, you've got uh, the Magical Ice Fusion to make a second Dragoon, and then you've got the two targets for the Dragoon, um, and obviously you've got the two Dragoons as well, and to help make this all a little bit quicker, you go into a Predator Plant to send it off. So that's going to be the Dragoon package. Now we're going to go into the other packages. Um, this is the Dogmatica Shadal package. So. Starting off, we have our two Nadir Servants. Um, you actually can send Entis with these. Uh, so I, I've done it in testing. I never really needed to in real, uh, real battle, but um, most of the time you just want to uh, play this to send your app Cologne to search uh, one of your three Dogmatica cards, which is Punishment, Florida Delete, and Ecclesia. Um, in which case, uh, Ecclesia, you can special it, search the Florida Delete for a negate. Um, or if you add the punishment, then you've got two other cards you could have searched in your deck as well. Um, and the other Nadir Servant can also send any other card from your deck to the grave. Uh, just search that punishment as well. But uh, basically you'll do Nadir, send the App Cologne, uh, search the Ecclesia, then uh, App Cologne, add the Shit All Schism, and then discard probably the Ecclesia, but hopefully not. And uh, then the Shadal Schism will allow you to search uh, the two windows, or allow you to fusion summon one of the windows, and then uh, whenever the window leaves the field or the Schism leaves the field, 
uh, it's fine uh, because if they get rid of window first and then schism, it's bad. But if they get rid of window first uh, and leave schism, then you can banish window, make another window. Um, or if they get rid of schism first, that's great. Then they get rid of window, window activates, add back schism to hand, then set it and do it all over again, make another window. All right, so that is the Dogmatica Shadal package. Now we have the Ritual package, which is Diviner of the Herald, which we do play too, but I'm separating them. So we have Diviner of the Herald uh, to send Herald of the Ark to either add the Saravis hand trap or the Illusion of Chaos to our hand to go into more Dark Magician plays. And if we have one in hand already, there's also another one in the deck. Uh, but if we already have this in hand, you're going to want to add Seralvis. Um, no brainer. Um, then the other Diviner is to send uh, the Entis. But really, the two Diviners are just so you can have the option to get to your rituals a little bit faster. But you can still send Entis, so it's fine. <laughs> All right. So that is going to be it for the ritual package. Next up, we have our two one ofs, which goes into half of our extra deck. And that is going to be the Sky Striker Mobilize Engage and the Hornet Drones. Um, now, the reason why um, I have the extra deck options of Sky Striker Ace Hayate uh, Loza, because I know you skipped over that part, I'm going to go ahead and say it in this video anyway, because I know he probably will watch it. I don't know. But, uh, Anyways, the um, Kagari searches the Hornet Drones. The Hornet Drones specials a token to summon out the Kagari. Kagari adds back Hornet Drones. Um, then you play Hornet Drones again without linking to just confuse your opponent, make them think you bricked or you mi or you misplayed. Um, and that, that's just funny because their eyebrow gets raised, you know? Um, or you can just summon Hayate and think, Oh, they're actually playing actual Sky Strikers. They're not just playing the package. So now I'm going to negate the next thing they do. You know, uh, the reason why I'm playing Hayate is because a fire attribute, a wind attribute, link the token off into an earth attribute, then go into a dark attribute, which is uh, dark the dark charmer. And then uh, if I'm going second, bring their dark. Most likely they have a dark make a light attribute Selene and then link it all off and make a dark, another dark access code. This way you have a total of five uh, different attributes engraved to pop with access. And the only thing that they can respond access respond to access with is uh, the effect to declare the link three. So um, that is going to be it for the Sky Striker package. Now I am sacrificing um, the Hayate, I'm, sa I'm sacrificing the Kaino, which is an Earth attribute, but gives me an extra 100 for a different attribute. That is literally the whole reason why I'm playing it, and it does kind of trip people up sometimes. And for the last of the main deck, we have the three Gozen matches, which are easily taken out of, and the one Upstart. So that is going to be it for the main uh, dissection of the Dark Magician deck. Now we're going to go into the side deck. So for the side deck... The main important cards, um, I guess these are the three I don't ever really side, and that's the three evenly match, which is good, but only against certain decks. Um, I probably sided it against prank hits, more than likely. Um, then I've got the three lightning storms. Definitely side deck that against all back row. Um, then I've got the two secret village uh, and the terraforming to search either the village or my dark magician field spell. Then the most important cards in here are the three Super Polys and the Starving Venom, Drago Stapilia, and the third Super Poly target, which is the Dark Magicians. And you're probably wondering, how is, super, how is Dark Magician Super Poly target? Well, I mean, you use your Dark Magician or girl plus their Spellcaster monster, which generally most of the decks in this format aren't having a uh, spellcaster type monster um, which in which case the three super poly is fine you want to see it anyway uh, but you can take the dark magicians out um, that way you can use your secrets of dark magic to actually fusion this instead of using it to ritual summon or to hard make a dragoon 
Uh, actually, you can use Secrets of Dark Magic uh, to make a window, which is actually pretty fun. Pretty, pretty funny. Um, <coughs> anyways, we're going to go into the side deck options. So, um, going to dissect the deck a little bit further. We're going to put all of our extra deck a little bit to the side. All right, and this is the part that I could not prepare for in the video. I could not separate this and do it later so I can make it easier for you guys. This is the part I just could not. Sorry about that. All right, so I am separating the main cards you want to side out. So this is all of the main deck. All right, so specifically, um, Specifically for the extra deck, you have the Sky Striker Ace, Kagari, Hayate, and Link Spider that you can side out uh, for the three super poly targets. And then for the main deck, you, of course, you have the three Gozen match, the Upstart Goblin always. And you can either do one of two options, which is side deck out a Magician's Rod and Secrets of Dark Magic, or side deck out the Sky Striker package, in which case this provides. Um, here, let me make it a little bit more simple. Um, so you're gonna side deck three cards always. So you're gonna side deck out the Gozens if they don't work. Um, and you're gonna side deck out, let me move some of this out of the way. Let me put the Gozens up here. So you're gonna side deck the Gozens. Here, I'm even gonna zoom this out for you. You're gonna side deck the Gozens, all right? And you're gonna side deck the Upstart, but, or side out. The upstart and goes and but what options do you want to go for do you want to go for upstart and secrets and rod or do you want to go for upstart and sky striker package now this is the main split off of what you want to do you never want to side out all of these like ever ever unless you're going against that really weird deck where you just you can take out the sky striker package uh and the three extra deck monsters that go along with it to put in uh, three super polys and three uh, super poly targets. And you can either keep Gozens or side them out for whatever, evenly matches, lightning storms, whatever. Or you can just side out the Gozens, the Upstart, and the Magician's Rods and Secrets of Dark Magic for just mm, any, besides super poly, any other uh, of the um, back row removal like uh, terraforming secrets uh, like back row removal like lightning storm evenly matched or uh, just generic control which is the secret village of spellcasters and terraforming see now that's what you could do uh, generically if you still need the sky striker package to go into verte or if you're it just depends on what you're going against that determines whether you take the sky striker package out uh, generally I don't take out the sky striker package unless i know i am going against a dark deck that i lost to in round one so i instantly super poly out the sky striker package without exception uh because generally either if i go second that's fine i prefer to go second that way if i get sky striker package i can do into access code um but if i'm going first i go into verte um but uh, if you don't need to do the Super Poly going against Dark Deck, then uh, you do the Upstart uh, and the Rod and Secrets. Because you don't really need the Secrets in this build. It's just there to uh, hard make a Winda, a Dragoon, or to uh, Ritual Summon the Illusion of Chaos. Which has only come up once in testing. Uh, late, late, late game. Like, I had one card left in extra deck. Uh, and I, in the testing, I was getting negated a lot <clears throat> which this deck can get negated at least three times and be fine but four times it struggles so that's already top tier level so that means this deck is already good all right in fact this deck not specifically this one but um daryl uh is it daryl I don't know. The seventh place deck, he got seventh place at regionals or YCS. So that was already good. So um, that's just the main side deck option. 
All right, and the funny thing is, is that the uh, Dark Magicians, the uh, Prep Plant, Durgus Pilia, the Starving Venom, are the three extra deck cards you'll side out for the um, Link Monsters here. And then the Upstart, the Sky Striker Spells, side them out for the three Super Poly. And then you can put in Secret Village Terraforming for the three Gozens, or keep them, it's fine. Or any of the other three, which I'm kind of just repeating myself at this point. But if you don't want to side out uh, those for the dark deck, you want to leave them in, it's fine. And then you're going to side out, out the Gozens. I am still repeating myself um, to then go for none of these, but any of these, which is the three Evenlies, the three Lightning Storms, or the Secret Village and the Terraforming. And that's going to be about it, guys, for the dissection of... Uh, the Dark Magician deck and what's side out. Um, so that is Dark Magician explained in detail. Um, I was really, really struggling. I'm not going to lie. I was really, really struggling to put the Beatrice in the deck because I know I absolutely needed it. And it's the random tech nobody played and nobody is playing. And I'm the only guy playing it and it's working for me. So if it works for you, I recommend playing it too. I really wanted to play it, and for a while it was in the side deck. But now it's in the main deck and it's staying there. And uh, I don't ever really need, need to side it out. It's a permanent part of the strategy now, and it's going to stay there for a while. So that is Dark Magician Explained. Thanks, guys, for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, and don't forget to sup. Eh, just kidding.